Now, in response to your letters and emails, we're featuring one of your gardens this week. I say garden, it's more of a shed. When I say shed, it's more than one shed. Now, traditionally, sheds are a male domain, a sanctuary, a place to escape a world of strife. And, of course, the wife. But testosterone trap men, open your eyes to an unusual idea. At a controversial cottage in Somerset, a husband and wife are sharing their love of the shed. There is a thing about males must have their sheds, but I, that's not the same for us. No, definitely not. Sheds are for sharing for everybody, that's what I say. <laughs> so much so, they've built not one, but a family of them. A family of sheds is definitely what we've got, definitely. <laughs> yes, it's a rather nice term, isn't it? Family of sheds. <laughs> I think it's very, very important to put your individuality into things. You know, that's why I built these sheds that are not normal. I haven't even counted how many sheds we have. We've got the cart shed, the bee shed. It keeps the beehive nice and dry. The dustbin shed, the log shed, the hedgehog shed. One thing led to another. He had to put a little opening inside of the tool shed for a hedgehog. Well, I suppose everything needs a home. It's even like a spider, you know, he's got a little family somewhere, wife and family somewhere. And I think it's very important to look after nature because we are a part of nature. Things just seem to happen. Auburn's got such a lot of energy. So we've, by the front gate, we've got a really charming little, little shed for the wheelie bin. I like the dustbin shed. He's full of surprises. Well, I feel that everyone's got a little bit of madness, but, and I think, you know, one needs that. Lo and behold, we end up with this quirky-looking seagull that is he's carved out of wood and painted, and it's actually on top of the shed. So this is how things have grown in our house and in our garden. Auburn is a stickler for attention to detail, that's for sure. In our house, We've got a little home for mice. Uh, little quirky things go in. Most of it I really like making from wood or stone, make it myself. The only thing that I, was a bit of fun was the last one, which is a jousting tent. And I feel everyone should have a jousting tent. He's got a great imagination. <laughs> Don't you think so? Definitely right. Andrew's definitely right there. I've got imagination. When our grandchildren started coming along, we both had the idea of building Ruth her own little cottage. I love the medieval architecture. I love doing things in periods. I think it's really nice. So I built Ruth's cottage in Gothic style. Then when we heard that another baby was on the way, Auburn said, we're going to have to plan something. And then Tom came along. I thought, I love wood. I'll build him Elizabethan one. And then our daughter-in-law said, we're having another baby. And then sweet little Charlotte come along. She's just three now. So Auburn built the most beautiful Victorian post office for Charlotte, and we call it Charlotte's Post Office. But do you know, our youngest son is getting married this year. Who knows? We might have to build a housing estate, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure it'll work out fine. I've always felt that this house and this garden was really quite a magical place. Oh, I think it's magical and because it's beautiful when the holiday, when children come, it reminds me of, you know, going back to childhood as I was, just playing. I feel that there's part of us gone into developing this house and it's just... Uh, I can't ever see us ever wanting to sell it. <laughs> I think we're here for the duration. You know.